Let us see another method for the purification of organic compounds by differential extraction method. So, in this method we use a separating funnel. In lower classes you would have studied about separating oil and water using a separating funnel. How do they get separated? Because oil is completely non-polar and water is polar. So, when you add that in the separating funnel two layers will be formed and you can easily separate one layer from the other. In the same way whenever we prepare organic compound usually we will have lot of impurities and byproducts. These byproducts and impurities will be in the form of like you know salts or it can be completely polar. So, suppose the organic compound is in the aqueous solution, how do we separate this organic compound from the byproducts which are polar? What we do is we add an organic solvent to it. So, when we add an organic solvent the organic compound will get mixed into to the organic solvent and the byproducts or impurities will be soluble in polar solvents like water. So, here the non-polar solvents which we use to separate the organic compounds could be carbon disulfide, carbon tetrachloride or chloroform. So, what happens is like you know when we add these two in a separating funnel the organic compound will completely go into the organic solvent and the byproducts or impurities in case they are polar will be dissolved in water and using the separating funnel we can completely separate these two. I am going to show you a small experiment based on the differential extraction method using a separating funnel. So, we know that we use this method to separate polar and non-polar compounds. So, for experimental purpose I have taken two compounds here, one is naphthalene and other one is copper sulphate. We know that copper sulphate is polar and naphthalene is non-polar. So, I have made that into a powder and taken this mixture. Okay? Now, I am going to take two solvents. So, here I have taken water, I am also going to add chloroform to this. So, you can see here there will be two layers formed here, one is the chloroform layer and other one is water layer. So, this separation is because one is polar and other one is non-polar. I am going to add this mixture to this now. So, copper sulphate will be soluble in water and the organic compound which is naphthalene will be soluble in chloroform. So, I am going to stir it completely. You can see that naphthalene will be soluble in chloroform and copper sulphate will be soluble in water. So, you can see the two layers clearly. So, the top layer which is water is no is turning into blue because copper sulphate is getting dissolved in water. Now, I am going to take this mixture and transfer this to a separating funnel. So, you can see the two layers very clearly. So, the top layer is blue in color. So, as I have already told you, so there this will the copper sulphate would have got dissolved in water and you can see that white powder which was naphthalene would have got dissolved in the chloroform layer. So, you can see the two layer, now you can separate this very easily. So, just open this knob here and remove the chloroform layer. So, we have to do it little slowly so that the mixture does not get mixed. So, you can see the blue layer here and the colorless layer which is chloroform along with the organic compound. Now, this organic compound like you know you can just leave it for some time the solvent will get evaporated and the solid which is the naphthalene will get separated out easily. 
I am going to now show you another small experiment to separate polar and non-polar compound. So here now I have taken iodine which is completely non-polar and copper sulphate which is polar. Again I have taken two solvents, one is water and chloroform. So iodine will be completely soluble in chloroform, you can see that here. You can see how the color is changing, though it is iodine is a solid. So, it is easily soluble in chloroform, you can see the color and copper sulphate I am going to add this in water so that that will be soluble in water. So, we know the concept like dissolves like. So, polar will be soluble in polar solvent and non-polar compound will be soluble in non-polar solvent. So, this experiment is just to show the difference in color. So, you can see copper sulphate is getting dissolved in water. Now, suppose I mix these two. You can see the two layers getting separated out. Okay. So, the top layer is copper sulphate and water and the bottom layer is iodine in chloroform. Now, how do I separate it? So, use a separating funnel, transfer this into the separating funnel. So, in case they are formed as mixture, okay. so just transfer it like this. So, now you can separate the bottom layer that is chloroform and iodine. So, these two are completely non-polar. So, now slowly shake it so that they mix completely and remove the bottom layer slowly. So, this experiment proves like dissolves like. That is polar will be soluble in polar solvent and non-polar compound will be soluble in non-polar solvent. So, be little careful so that they do not mix here. So, I have separated out these two using a separating funnel. 